You ever know someone who refuses to go to the doctor? They may have a lot of reasons why they won't, but the most common reason given is that they simply don't trust doctors. So instead of calling the doctor when sick, they self-diagnose, self-prescribe, and self-medicate. Now, ever know someone who refuses to go to God with their problems? Even believers sometimes come up with reasons they won't. Everything from God doesn't need my problems, others have it worse, to I don't deserve to have him care about my issue. But at the very core, our refusal to bring our lives to God is a lack of trust. Perhaps you're not trusting that God cares, but he tells you that he does. Perhaps you're not trusting that he is able to handle your problems, but he can. Maybe you don't want the truthful solution to your problem, which is what you know God will ask of you. Any way you look at it, there's a lack of trust when we don't bring things to God. Such lack of trust places us independent of God. In such a position, we are living counter to the way we were created to live in relationship with Him. Against such lack of trust, the writer of the Psalms actually cries out to God for help. Psalm 57 verses 1 to 3, Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. I look to you for protection. I will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until the danger passes by. I cry out to God Most High, to God who will fulfill His purpose for me. He will send help from heaven to rescue me, disgracing those who hound me. My God will send forth His unfailing love and faithfulness. So know this, it's an act of faith when you cry out to God, for it places your needs and your well-being into His hands. Bringing the good and the bad to God is what being in relationship with Him is all about. Most importantly, know this, God cares for you and wants to hear from you. His desire is to care for you, and He has done this best through giving to you His one and only Son, Jesus, to save you from the greatest threat you will ever face, death itself. So go ahead, cry out to God. You don't even need an appointment. He's ready right now to hear your needs. Crying out to God is an act of faith, and this is discipleship. Following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to the mission of Jesus. Let's join and cry out to God together right now. God, we thank you that you care for us. We thank you that you're never too busy to hear us. We thank you and praise you for how great you are. And we know that there is no limit to what you can achieve and what you can conquer. And so we worship you. And part of that worship means bringing to you the very things that we need help for. By bringing to you some of the things that are uncomfortable in our life, the things that we're struggling to handle, we bring them to you, God, and we ask that you would help us, that you would meet us in our need, and that you would strengthen our faith as we watch you continue to work in our lives. Do this for us today, we ask in Jesus' name.